right, Tony. It's your time. Horseradish. Horse Horse there you go, Chad. Horseradish. Yes. There you go, Chad. <laughs> Oh, Tony turned into a dog. I was about to say, Tony, your hair's a little wider than I remember. They smell good. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they are my strong. Welcome to S'mores Indoors, everyone, and the most unique uh, movie collector interview series here on YouTube, The Collector's Inquisition. I am Corey, your host, and tonight my guest is a, uh, I guess you could call him a rival, maybe, when it comes to the movie stores in our area. Uh, maybe not so much, because I'm more the horror guy, and I think he's less the horror guy. But uh, nonetheless, it's cool to find the people in your area that are kind of doing the YouTube thing, and... And we have one of those here for me right now. It is Ryan from Movies with Ryan. What's up, Ryan? Hello, good sir. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Thanks for being on. Hope you're Thank well. Thank you for having me. Yes. And uh, you are correct about that. I am not the horror guy. So you can have all those boutique labels that's been showing up at Mega Replay. Well, you just you let me know if you find some good ones. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what, what we like to do on this uh series is first off let everyone know a little bit about you so tell everyone a little bit about your channel all right i am ryan from movies with ryan uh, i do a weekly wednesday video comes out at 3 p.m central time uh, i do thrifting unboxings uh, my favorite five recommendations and then at the end of the month on the 31st i do a roundup of everything i picked up off camera uh i dabble in live streams um and that's pretty much it. I am on Instagram under the same name where I am doing a still book a day for the whole 2022. And that's been very interesting. So that's about it. I've been checking that out. It's pretty cool. Uh, and, and all your content's pretty awesome too. So everyone, if you're new to movies with Ryan, make sure you uh, check out the link in the description of this video and uh, give him a sub, check out his content and, and uh, you will be a fan. I'm sure if you're one of those People that love movie collecting channels, you'll you'll love this channel for sure. So, so Ryan, this is the Collector's Inquisition. It's twenty five questions based on your numbers that you pick out of one hundred and fifty, yep. and uh, totally random. We'll see what comes up. And uh, are you ready to take on the Inquisition? I am ready to be Inquisitioned. <laughs> okay. So why don't you start off with your first number? Let's go with six. Number six. All right. What is your favorite Criterion release? Ooh. Um, I kind of just went over this, but probably my Zatoichi box set uh, as far as like design and just number of movies. Uh, that and Lone Wolf and Cub. They both have some pretty good packaging and I like those type of movies. Probably my favorite. Cool. Um, number two. Let's go with number 15. All right. I kind of have an idea what you might say here, but it, I could be wrong. What movie was filmed closest to your home? Uh, let's see. Um, I believe that was a League of Their Own. Uh, yeah, it was partially filmed here. Um, I know some of it was filmed over in your area, up in Jasper. But uh, the World Series scenes, I believe, were filmed at Bossy Field here in my hometown. And, uh, yeah, that was an interesting time. They still do the throwbacks, too, which is pretty cool. Yes. Bossy Field, which, by the way, looks like may get a major league game here in a couple of years. So that yes. be interesting. I'm, I'm hoping for, like, a Yankees-Cardinals game or something like that and an interleague play. So I, th I feel like that would make the most sense, honestly, uh, with Don Mattingly and the Cardinals are a big team around here. So, or we'll maybe a Marlins game may since Mattingly's. This is also Don yeah. Mattingly's hometown for people that didn't know. I'd, I'd go for Marlins versus Yankees. That'd be kind of cool. So. Yeah, it would. All right, uh, number three. Uh, let's go with my birth year, seventy nine. Seventy nine. All right. 
Talk about someone that you think is very talented at acting. Very talented at acting. Um, man. Let's let's go with Ethan Hawke. He really, I think he's very across different genres. He's very good at what he does, and he's convincing of making his characters real. He really, even though he kind of looks the same, he always makes his characters believable. I think Ethan Hawke's a very good actor. Yeah, it's interesting. He can really play the villain or victim, you know, in yeah. in roles. So. Yeah, I really need to check out that Black Phone. I know it just recently came out. I've got to pick that up. It looks really good. Yeah. All right. Uh, number four. Um, let's go with 87. All right. Do you mind reading subtitles when you watch a foreign language film, or would you prefer that it be dubbed in your own language? subbed all the way um i watched one jackie chan movie one time dubbed and it just was horrible so subtitles all the way i i do watch a lot of criterion and most of that's foreign so i have no problem watching it keeps you more engaged in the movie i think it really makes you pay attention yeah i, I always felt like when you get a dubbed film you lose some of the emotion that the original actors are portraying yes so. Very much so. Yeah. Okay, number five. Uh, let's just go 150. See what's at the bottom of the list. All right. Let me scroll down here. What is your favorite non-movie or media-related YouTube channel and why? Ooh. Um, I can't think of his... It's... I'm going to get lambasted for not knowing his name, but his name's Rick, I believe, but he is the stealth camper. He lives in Canada okay. and he does stealth camping. Like he'll go park in a parking lot for the night and not get caught, or he'll go live in a ditch on the side of a major highway for the night and not get caught. And it's just really cool. And he really interacts with his uh, fan base. Like they uh, do Patreon and they buy him beer so he can survive through the night and stuff like that <laughs> on beer. But uh, man, I want to say it's, Rick Wallace, maybe, but a okay. fantastic channel. It's just something I stumbled on one night, and I found myself watching video after video after video, and it's, I thought, a cool concept. You know, I almost feel like if you had to, you could survive on just a diet of YouTube as your entertainment <laughs> source for your whole life yes. because it's just insane what all is out there. So, um, All right, number six. Um, let's go... 29. What are the best souvenirs that you've ever collected while traveling? Ooh. Um, I really don't do a whole lot of traveling. Probably just from a personal standpoint uh i've got some shot glasses from the vulcan in birmingham alabama which is their giant statue the vulcan was one of the the metal workers down there in the uh, furnaces dross furnaces mm -hmm. and there are these little, little cool shot glasses that have the actual vulcan down inside of them looks really neat that's probably oh, cool. about it okay. i would say something cool. from disney from this past year when i went but it was all too expensive yeah <laughs> Get the knockoff stuff after you go. Yeah, uh, really. <laughs> All right, number seven. Um, let's go number two. All right. What is the most you are willing to spend on a single physical media purchase? <laughs> um, I collect steel books, so that can get really high. Um. But I think pretty much right now I've got my cap around eighty dollars. I would say okay. for a single release, usually something imported, some sort of box set from like Imprint or uh, Nova Media, Kimchi, something like that. Right. Cool. All right. Uh, number eight. Uh, let's go sixty-four. All right. 
what real life event needs a good movie made about it? Man. Um, a lot of the major stuff in our lifetimes had movies, but I would say maybe the earthquake, uh, Oakland City earthquake, what was it, 89? Uh, mm-hmm. That happened during the World Series game. That would be oh, kind yeah. of interesting. Yeah, that would well, actually. Yeah. yeah, you can get multiple perspectives. You can get them from like the baseball game. They could kind of recreate that, and then you know the survival aspect and all this stuff. Because they literally had to take a highway off of people. I think that would be kind of a neat yeah. actiony thriller type, uh, not thriller, but drama movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised they actually never did that. Honestly. Um, all right, uh, number nine. Uh, let's go ahead and double up 64. So one, 128. Okay. Are ghosts real? Ooh. Um, I believe there is something there after in the afterlife. I've had a couple of unexplained experiences. Um, but I was also in the medical field for a long time. So I base a lot of stuff on science. Like I figure once you're dead, you're dead, but there's still that realm of unknown. So I'm kind of like 50, 50 on it. I don't think there's like ghosts wandering around and bed sheets going, Ooh, but I believe (laughs) there is something in the afterlife. Yeah. I try to be an open-minded skeptic, if that makes any sense. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never died, so I can't I can't say what goes on after that. So, but I've heard stories, I've heard experiences from people, and everybody's been a little different. So, there's no telling. Well, that's that's the thing. We're all gonna find out one day. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> number ten. Uh, let's just go one hundred. Okay. What can movie theaters do to improve the experience of going there? Hmm. I don't go to the movie theaters a whole lot. Um, actually, I've, I've went three times this year, and that's the most I've been in probably 15 years, 10 years, 15 years. Hmm. Uh, probably lower prices on concessions, even though I know that's like where they make the majority of their money at. But, you know, $18 yeah. for a bucket of popcorn and a drink is ridiculous. Yeah. Um. Either that or just kind of be a little bit more lax on people bringing their own stuff in. Like I, I would, I would justify paying twelve dollars a ticket if I can just bring my own drinks in that in without having to sneak them in. Yeah, you know, I've always said I, I am shocked that they've not gone with the clear bag policy, kind of like sporting events do. Yeah, That's I that. am surprised at that I mean, and you know, the majority of people they go to Walmart or whatever pay that buck 25 for a box of candy and you know sneak a couple drinks in their pockets and that's it oh i i stop at dollar tree every time right before i go you know uh number 11 uh let's go see let's go 30 38 I don't think I've done that one yet. Yeah, 38. This is an interesting question. How stressed are you? Um, Not very. I did just start a new job this week, so it's been kind of a, an easy flow week. So probably mm-hmm. about a two. Okay. I mean, my kids stress me out a little bit, but that's nothing right. unusual. Yeah. A little, <laughs> little bit of stress is healthy, so. Yeah. Uh, keeps you on your toes. So, all right. Yes, it does. <laughs> Number 12. Uh, 90. Let's go 93. All right. If you were asked to list, uh, if you're asked to do a list of your top 50 movies, what are just a few of the films that would make the list? Oh, uh, the Crow, Heat, Lost in Translation, 13 Assassins, um, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and what else? A, few, a ghost story. A24's ghost story. I love that movie. Um, Manchester by the Sea. 
Quite a little bit of a range of things. Seven Samurai. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Number 13. I've actually thought about doing my top 50 for a YouTube video, but I don't know. That's that's a little bit of oh. a under <laughs> overwhelming task. Um, let's go one, 111. All right. Whether or not you believe we went to the moon, do you think there's any truth to footage being faked? <laughs> uh, yes, I believe it could be faked. Um, I, I do think we went to the moon. I really do think we did. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the things that they overcame and the technology they have kind of makes you question it. But yeah. um, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist. The moon, going to the moon is not one of my big things, but I, I think it could be faked. Um, yeah, I'll go with yeah. Okay. I've always had the theory that maybe they shot some stuff just in case cameras didn't work out the way they wanted them or something like that, but... You know, yeah, and I know the one thing a lot of people, oh, you know, the, the people jumping on the moon, the gravity, and there's no dust, and there's been actual scientists that have debunked that, and you can go watch the YouTube videos, but I could fully understand them having a backup plan, because that was a mm -hmm. big deal. I mean, going to the moon, oh, yeah. you know, the space race and trying to yes. fight the Russians to the moon is a, a big deal. Yeah, for sure. All right, number 14. Um, seven. Uh, now let's go 40. Trying to get a different number. Let's see, 44. Let's go 44. Okay. <laughs> Trying to spread it out through the different numbers. Yeah. What tech tools play the biggest role in your life? Uh, uh, phones, most definitely, and tablets are about my two things. Um, I mean, if I didn't have a phone, I don't know what I would do, especially for YouTube. I film 90% of my stuff on my phone. Um, mm -hmm. All my editing, everything is on my phone. And then tablets for work. That's what we use for work to do our routing and stuff. So it's pretty much it. I, I, even though I grew up in the age of evolving technology and I didn't have a phone until like maybe 2001 or two. I couldn't, I, I don't know what I would do without it now. Like, I don't know how I lived before, but technology has advanced a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So, yeah. Uh, number 15. Uh, let's go one, 139. All right. What cause would you rally others to support? Ooh, uh, I don't know, because I'm not really a, a big, like, donator or supporter of anything. Um, if there was, I don't know. Let's, let's go different here. Uh, rally people against streaming. Save there physical media. There we go. That's that's a generic question or generic answer from a content creator. Hey, it counts. It counts. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, number sixteen. That was a hard question. That is a hard <laughs> question for somebody that doesn't do stuff like that. Um, let's go. Let's go number one. All right. Hard questions is what makes this the Inquisition. So. Yes, it is. <laughs> what was the first DVD you bought? I vaguely remember, I think my first DVDs were like Batman 89 and Dumb and Dumber. Okay. I believe were like my first two. And maybe a Tarantino film, but I don't quite remember. Okay. Because when well, DVD first came out, I jumped right on board. Like, I right. really didn't have a VHS collection, but as soon as DVD came out, I immediately jumped on board. I really don't quite remember exactly but 
Batman 89 and Dumb and Dumber stick out. Okay, cool. Definitely classics there. Yeah. Uh, and they need to get on releasing the theatrical cut of Dumb and Dumber on Blu-ray. Because all we have is the unrated cut, and it's there's just something about it that's a little off. Okay. Get on that some label. Didn't, didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh, number uh, 17. Let's go. Let's see. Six, um, let's go. I already did twenty nine. Man, um, <laughs> let's go twenty eight. All right. Yeah, one hundred and fifty questions. It's surprising how many times you choose the same number. So, um, have you ever changed someone's mind about a movie? Ooh. Um, I don't know if I really have. I persuaded people to watch stuff they've never watched, but I don't think I've ever got somebody to go back and reevaluate a movie. Or if I have, they haven't told me about it. But um, right, a lot. I know a lot of my friends. I've only got like one friend that actually is into watching movies, and he pretty much likes the same stuff I have. So I don't think I'd have to persuade him to do anything. So. If there's somebody out there in YouTube land that I persuaded, I would like to know, but I don't think I have. Okay. What's a uh, what's a movie then that uh, is one that you're quick to recommend to people that may have not seen it? Um, Dave made a maze. Okay. It's a it's got a I think it's got a Blu-ray release, but it's got an Arrow release for sure. And it's just a weird movie about a guy that makes a cardboard maze in his apartment and gets lost and all sorts of shenanigans happens when all of his friends try to go rescue him. And it's just a weird, crazy movie. Wow. Sounds interesting. <laughs> it is. Uh number eighteen. Um let's see, one one oh seven. I don't think I've done that. Nope. Right. Yeah. Well, name a remake of a movie or a song that you can't stand and why. Oh, that Bad Wolf song, Zombies, when they redid the Cranberries. Don't you ever desecrate the Cranberry Zombie. I can't <laughs> stand that song. Like Their remake is just... I don't know. He can't match her voice. And I... Rip, I forget what her name is now off the top of my head, but of course she passed away. But the first time I heard that song, I immediately turned the radio and like a bunch of my friends, oh no, it's a great song. I'm like, no, you didn't live through the cranberry zombie. It's a much better song. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that remake, but I'm I'm sure I would feel the same. So <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's I think garbage. <laughs> Number 19. Uh, one, one What would you risk your life for? Uh, movie collection first, kids second. If it was a fire, um, uh, no, uh, my, I mean, my kids definitely. I mean, if it were somebody break into the house or a fire or a natural disaster or something like that. Kids and girlfriend go first besides myself. So, but a uh, movie's close second. I don't think I'd be able to get everything out the door though. Is there a one, if you can only save one, is there one you would say? Man. That's a tough question for a collector. I know, but probably my, Mm. probably be one of my one clicks either my her one click or actually that probably that new drive 4k set's pretty nice i've got a couple steel books that are front facing i could probably grab fairly quickly but maybe a scott yeah. pilgrim or uh my crow steel book something like that but i mean that stuff can be replaced mostly sure. yep all right number 20 uh, so I said one. I should have wrote these in order. Make it a lot easier on myself. <laughs> um, let's go. 
19. Okay. What's the first Blu-ray you ever bought? I started converting over Blu-ray in like 2016, and I really don't remember. I think it was like the X-Men movies, maybe. Okay. Uh, the, oh man, First Class, I believe, came out about time, and maybe the Wolverine, or Wolver yeah, the Wolverine, not the Wolverine Origins, second one, yeah, where he goes to mm -hmm. Japan. I think those are it. I have a hard time remembering like picking up stuff, but when I started transferring over, I kind of like bought heavily because I got rid of my DVDs, had a list, and I went out and was buying in bulk. I really don't remember exactly what my first purchases were. I know what my first steel books were, and that was the Kill Bill one and two. Nice. That's what got me into steel books. <laughs> That's probably a good or bad thing, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh <laughs> Good for looking at, bad on the wallet. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, we got the final five questions here. What's your uh, number 21? Let's go. One, one twenty five. If you could be cast in any movie of your choice, which movie would it be and which, which character or role would you want to play? This is, of course, past movies. I think I'd want to be in a Wes Anderson movie. Um, maybe like a Grand Budapest Hotel. I could just be one of the guests. That would be kind of neat. Okay. Or maybe Life Aquatic with Steve Zuzo. It could be one of the deckhands. It'd just be kind of fun. I think Wes Anderson movies would just be completely fun to be in. They're just kind of yeah. offbeat and very mm -hmm. specific to his style. All right. Cool. Uh, 22. Ooh, let's see. Let's go 90. If they move, made a movie of your life, what would it be about? And which actor would you want to play you? Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Um, not that I look like Joaquin Phoenix, but <laughs> uh, we had the same body shape, I guess, in his later years. Um, I actually had this uh, a question on this on a, another YouTuber's channel, and I think I, I my answer to it was he asked what a movie would be called. I think it was like the dysfunctionalities of an educated slacker. So it'd just be kind of like one of those bio style picks, I guess, about sure. you know the hoarding and dysfunctionalities of being a collector and like being a slacker while being having an education and just not doing anything with it. I think that would right. just be a weird kind of movie. Yeah, it works. Uh, 23. That was, I just picked number 90, right? Or, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So let's go with 50. Okay. Well, this can be anything. What would you wait in line for? Ooh, um, I think somebody else said it on another another Inquisition, but getting somebody's autograph. Um, I'm not really an autograph seeker, but I think if I got to like meet Tarantino or like Joaquin or somebody that I really love their movies, mm -hmm. um, I think I would stand in line to get a signature, like get one of my special editions signed by him or something like that. I think that would be really neat. Right. That would be about the only thing. And unfortunately around here, we really don't get anything like that unless we go, what, two or three hours either direction, any direction, yes. actually. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. 
24. Um, let's go number 30. What? This is a good question for our area. What are your experiences with severe weather? Oh, Jesus. Uh, can we talk about how it's 90 one day and 30 the next with snow and then tornadoes? Luckily, we haven't had an earthquake yet that they've been, yes. I don't know, predicting since, what, 78? Um, yeah, I was talking about that with someone. I remember back in the 90s, someone had predicted a big one and they let us out for school of school for that. It was kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah. Uh, like, uh, what was that? 1992 or something like that. There was supposed so. to be predicted. Uh, I forget what fault we live on now. Cause I haven't said it in forever, but uh, yeah, I always yeah, remember new, that. New mattress, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The new matter fault. Yeah. Yeah. And if it ever, if it ever did hit here, we would be leveled, but uh, yeah. Midwest weather is weird. I mean, you know, especially where we're at on the rivers, like they can get snow south of us. We can get a little bit of like freezing rain and then snow north of us. Yeah. Tornadoes are abundant. We're right in tornado alley. Uh, heat with a hundred percent of humidity. You know, I love these. Oh, 90 degrees is hot. I said, you ever had 90 degrees with a hundred percent humidity? You literally melt. It sucks. <laughs> Yeah, and, and folks, Christmas tornadoes. We can get Christmas tornadoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, December tornadoes, November tornadoes, <laughs> January tornadoes, uh, snow in May. Crazy. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we have one question left. What's your number 25? Um, let me see here. Let's go my kid's birth month of August, since we're in August. Right. What's your favorite movie with Tom Hanks in the cast? Ooh. Um, Tom Hanks is a good actor. He is not one of my top five, maybe not even one of my top ten favorite male actors. I guess a male actor is an actor. Um I've got a soft spot for Forrest Gump. I think okay. that might be probably my favorite, but I also like the Terminal, and I know a lot of people don't like the Terminal. But yeah, probably one of those two. I'd say Forrest Gump, just because I mean it's just neat how they did it, and it's a movie I kind of grew up with, and I mean they play it all the time. Yeah, I will say Definitely. though, Gatling Berg, Bubba Gump Shrimp does not have Dr Pepper, and I don't understand why. That pisses me off. Yeah, that's that's bizarre. Uh, <laughs> license, license, licensing, I guess. I don't know. Something weird about Dr. Pepper not being a Coke product or something. I don't know. That's strange. Well, anyway, you have survived the Inquisition. How do you feel? You feel relieved? Uh, I'm relieved. That was actually a little bit more stressful picking those numbers than <laughs> what I thought it would be. Yeah, I, I, I get that from some of the people on the show that it's uh, kind of stressful that they don't know what's coming, so but that's part of the experience. Yeah. So, yes, uh, and it gives us a chance for everyone to get a little, get to know you a little more outside of what you're buying and what you're collecting. So, yes, yeah, kind this is a very, very good idea for a YouTube segment. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone, everyone that's checked out all the, the uh, shows. I know a lot of people have been excited about them, and we got some awesome guests lined up to come soon. And. Um, can't wait for those and i want to thank you again ryan for being on and uh again anyone that's not familiar with this channel um you should be so hit that uh link down in the description and give him a sub watch some videos hit some thumbs up greatly Check appreciate that i'm trying to hit 500 by the end of the year but i don't know i've got four months left and 94 subscribers to go so i don't know how well that's going to happen well hopefully it uh hopefully you'll get there and it keeps snowballing for you. So eventually. Yep. <laughs> I, again, I want to thank you for being on. I want to thank everyone for watching this video and uh, watching everything else on the channel. If you're new to the channel, by the way, I uh, hope you'll check out everything else we're doing. We just had an interview with Ivy Smith from a full moon movie where she's a 50 foot cam girl. So it, it was interesting <laughs> and uh, it was a fun interview though. And uh, so if you're new here, Please uh, hit the subscribe and give us a shot. See what you like and 
let us know. All right, so we're going to get out of here until I see you again next time. Take it easy.